If you have hiatal hernia syndrome and you have acid reflux and you're not sleeping well, I've definitely talked about a connection between what happens with acid reflux and the stomach compressing, it elevating your diaphragm, your diaphragm then sort of spasms and then uh, so it doesn't float, you know, move as freely as it should. So you can get shortness of breath during the day. You can absolutely at night, it can worsen because you're in that horizontal position. Gravity is no longer helping pull down the stomach and the diaphragm. So it elevates further. You get into the shortness of breath state, sometimes heart palpitations on top of it. And this happens at night and you wake up sometimes gasping for air or you wake up because your heart is racing. And this is a phenomena that we call hiatal hernia syndrome that there are many of my videos that discuss. But there's a new aspect, a new little twist on sleep that I think is very important for us to discuss, which is that when you have GERD, so gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is just simply acid reflux. So the, the stomach is the gastro and then it's, it's compressing and it's bringing that acid up, which is called reflux up into the esophagus. Now, when it does that, uh, the acid can actually affect your airway, not just your esophagus, but also your airway and cause uh, a, for a narrowing of the air, airway. So to create kind of an obstructive, almost like a sleep apnea. Now it, it doesn't cause apnea, but it causes what's called arousals. You're being aroused out of sleep because of the acid going up and affecting your airway and essentially narrowing it. So it's a sort of a new twist or a new aspect to understanding why we have to get to the root cause of the acid reflux because in what we call hiatal hernia syndrome, which involves 20 different symptoms. But to get to the root of that is key for us to get decent sleep, which is when we repair. It's so important to get decent sleep and so many of the patients I speak to that are suffering from uh, acid reflux and this hiatal hernia syndrome, they're not sleeping well, they're in a recliner, um, you know, for the variety of reasons as I mentioned, but one of them can simply be the fact that our airway is essentially narrowed and we get more obstruction and that awakens us out of sleep as well. So another aspect of, of hiatal hernia syndrome that I wanted to discuss with you, because as I said, sleep is so critical, it's impossible to be healthy and have terrible sleep. And um, there, it's always multifactorial. You know, it doesn't tend to be one thing causing one symptom, but um, learning this makes, makes a lot of sense. And there's a lot of good research that is, that's uh, supporting this. So sometimes uh, when someone of course is not sleeping well, I just met a new patient and he wakes up tired. So he did, he did two sleep apnea studies. One said he had sleep apnea. The other one said he didn't. So he's like, what, a, what do I do with that? He doesn't snore. He doesn't seem to gasp for air. Um, but, but he's, waking up tired and he's not sleeping well. And so on this level of, you know, this obstruction happening, th that could be a root cause because he does have acid reflux. So I hope you find this helpful. If you like the information on these videos, please um, subscribe, give us a thumbs up so more people can see them. And um, if you're interested in getting help, then just uh, in the description of the video, you can contact that number and we're happy to uh, set up a consultation for you.